What about smoking? Nope. I've been stopped smoking. I, I, every now and then if I want to, but I've never really been. You know what? I stopped being a pothead. Remember when I said when I did that violation for smoking all that weed? That's when I was like, all right, weed ain't that serious. I'm in jail over weed. And various other violations, but weed was like the main one. Like, man, you got like seven dirty pee tests. I was walking, in, I'll smoke a blunt and go pee test. I didn't care. I didn't even try to drink water. Like, burnt out shit. About halfway through, got kicked out, started going to continuation schools. You know what a lot of people are gonna say when they watch this interview and hear you talk? Mm -hmm. You know what they're gonna say? What? This motherfucker sounds smart as fuck. <laughs> He's speaking on a whole nother level. Hey, hey, they told me that when I got to the pen, the lady was like, <laughs> you ain't even supposed to be here. I was in Donovan. I'm going through, and she she said my low test scores, and uh, I was like, what that mean? She said, it means you're not supposed to be in prison. I felt like bad as fuck, like, damn, I feel like a dumbass, what I'm doing? Like, these, these are my niggas that I've been knowing forever. Got some older homies that, shit, they didn't see me come up, so. This shit all family, these niggas my bros. All right, so let's just fast forward for a quick second. You go to you go to Donovan, and they give you a test? Yeah, like a little assessment test, like, like to see where you at. Yeah. As far as your uh, intelligence, I guess, I don't fucking know. And you pretty much ace the test or something? Pretty much, yeah, and it was like, nah, you ain't supposed to be here. All right, <laughs> so, all right, so, um, you tried to come back. Yeah. They said no. It was like, nah, you out of here. Yeah. Uh, so, well, how was your overall experience uh, at that school, of Paradise? I'm assuming that it was a pretty decent school in terms of classes and teachers. Right. You know, they taught you something. Nah, Even if they did, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, man. Ty Stick and Kurt Dog talked about another Crip set that was an enemy, but they squashed it. Yeah. I guess that was before your time? Yeah, that was back in the early 80s. Okay, and, and in you, the 70s. What neighborhood was that that they was talking about? That was West Coast. West Coast. And, yeah. and, but when you came up, it was already cool. Man, when I came up, we was like peanut butter and jelly. Like, we was like this. Like, it wasn't no separation. When I was coming up, you could catch us over in their hood, and they'd randomly walk up in our hood. Like, you would just see a pack of them. It'd be times where it'd be more of them on the street in our hood than us. It might be 10 of us and 20 of them, because they deeper than us. You don't see too much of that now. It's more so. Niggas see each other where they see each other, but. Now I just heard you tell one of the homies you don't drink no more. Yeah. Um, you want some other shit right now, huh? Yeah. What motivated that? Um, shit, physical, mental, financial. Nigga had to switch it up. Yeah. I've been drinking since. Shit, way back in the days. Since you were like, minor. Yeah, twelve. Like, wow. like when my mom was going through all that shit, that's how I cope with it. I'ma drink and smoke. Mm -hmm. What's it like? Being a minor, being 12, 13, and actually getting drunk, like, I, I can't comprehend that shit. Be, being immature and stupid, making dumb decisions. Oh, let's go break some windows. Let's go beat somebody up. Just stupid shit. Like, that's about it. So it, it took you uh, many, many years to get to this point? Yeah. Did you have yeah. to go through any sort of uh, classes, or you just did it on your own? Cold turkey. Wow. I just quit like two months ago. That's why homies is still offering me drinks, because they used to see me always with a 40 ounce, <laughs> always with a bottle of Hennessy, you know what I mean? Some wine, something. I don't give a fuck champagne, I'm drinking it all. Now, are you able to still hang out with the homie with a, a can of beer in his hand? Most definitely. Okay. I just, man, New Year's, uh, birthday parties, I've been around it. I Because some people need to really separate, like if they, yeah. really, they need to get away from it completely because the temptation's too, too strong. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I feel like I don't need it, I wanted it. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Like and comment below to give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related videos to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.